This is Prince Stanley coming to you today with 100,000 watts of pure love. I want to talk to you today about an end time key. When you hear of wars and disturbances, don't be terrified. For these things must happen first, but the end will not come immediately. Then Jesus said to them, A nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and famines, plagues, diseases in various places of the earth. There will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. You can read that in Luke chapter 21 verse 11 in the New Testament or the Brit Hadashah. Following that statement, Jesus also said, But before all these things, they will lay their hands on you and will persecute you, delivering you up to synagogues and prisons, bringing you before kings and governors for my name's sake. The original word for fearful sights in verse 11 is the Greek phobotron, which means terrors. This rare word phobithra is only used here in the New Testament. It is from phobia to frighten and it occurs only in the plural as here. If you read the whole context in Luke chapter 21, to scope or to microfocus on this segment of these two verses of a larger range of scripture dealing with the end times, we can see clearly that before the terrors and the great signs from heaven will come a period of time when many of God's people will be arraigned, detained, or arrested to appear in either synagogues or prisons, even before presidents, kings, and rulers of nations for a testimony. We can see that Christians, at least in the Western world, are not at the vertex of the end times yet because of what Jesus taught in verse 12. What should speak to us today, however, is that in the probably not too distant future, Jewish leaders and leaders of nations, maybe both Islamic and Western nations, will have Christians incarcerated. Right now in the Western world, governments are imposing fines and also imprisonment on pastors for speaking out against such things as an alternative or sinful lifestyle. Now let me give you some other things to think upon. Go to the archives in the Apostles Group and study these three posts by myself. Future News Now, Part A, Future News Now, Part B, and Final Days of Planet Earth. You can also go to the website at www.realmiracles, that's plural with an S on the end, realmiracles.com, and do a search. The search field is at the upper right of any page. Just type in Future News Now, and you can also type in Final Days of Planet Earth, and that'll bring up those three for you. When you read carefully or study or listen to the podcast about the three teachings I just mentioned, you will see that we are in the first stages of the last days. However, it is important to recognize waymarks along the pathway and to be prepared. Jesus, speaking to his disciples in verse 12 concerning their being brought before kings and leaders, was partly referring to the great persecutions they would experience by the Romans in that early church era. However, in the grand scope of end time prophecy, he was giving instructions as to what would happen before he returns to establish his kingdom. Read verses 5 through 36 in Luke chapter 21. 
What this microcosm of Scripture shows us in verse 12, but before all these things, is that we need to, as my mother used to say, make hay while the sun shines. I admonish you as an elder brother in Christ, do whatever the Holy Spirit is leading you to do. Seize the day. Get rid of the weights that are holding you back from doing God's will. Buy up the time. Take advantage of every idea, every resource, every opportunity that you have to reach people and the world for Messiah Yeshua. Some of you are bound by your jobs. You're afraid to quit. You're afraid of losing your retirement and so forth. You need to get alone with God, possibly do some fasting with prayer, and seek God. Do what God tells you. Put him first. You cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and money. You need money to live, of course, but God can provide for you. What you need to do is make sure you're in the perfect center of God's will. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Put God first. He'll take care of you. Seek ye first the kingdom of Messiah, and all these things that you need will be added unto you. Satan hates anointed money, anointed people, and anointed time. Do not let people steal you, your money, or your time. Spend time with God in the word and prayer, and at times in fasting. Listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you. Make the moves that you need to on the chessboard of life, so that the Master may say of you one day, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Make sure your plan fits into God's plan. Seek God's advice and follow it. And if your plan fits into God's plan, you will have God's faith, and God's faith always works. The miracles of God are aimed at you from every direction, my brothers and sisters. Obey God and let the power of the Lord invade the earth through you. If you want to write us, you can write to P.O. Box A, that's A as in Alpha, Downey, D-O-W-N-E-Y, California 90241, USA. Don't give in and don't give up. If you don't quit, you'll win. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. With God, all things are possible. Remember to tell your friends about the Apostle Talk podcast. If you have comments or need help, email me at princehandley at gmail.com. This is Apostle Talk, and this is Prince Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure love. (laughs) 